Today I'm really, really excited. Like I am actually feeling nervous right now and maybe a little bit anxious because I'm excited and my body doesn't know the difference between anxious and excited. Why? Because this is the latest trailer to come out for The Sims 4 and I'm just freaking excited. So let's get into it. <gasps> Cottage living. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, whoa. It looks very British. Oh, fancy. Oh my gosh! Oh my, what? It's Rainbow. Oh, oh. Wow. Whoa, okay, this is really surprised me. I was not expecting like a farming pack. A farming pack's what I've been asking to see in The Sims 4 for a couple of years now. Like that's something that I was dreaming about having in the game. And the fact that that's what this is, is kind of like, what? I didn't actually expect it to happen. So I'm over the moon about this. I have to quickly say, uh, yesterday I released a video where I reacted to the trailer of a modders pack, The Sims 4 Farm Life, and I was blown away by that. And I feel a little bit bad because of the timing of this. Not to take away from this trailer at all, but like the timing of it is just, oh no. But anyway, we are here to look at this trailer today. I'm exceptionally excited about this. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna break this down a lot. So if you wanna pause this and get a tea and a snack, we're gonna be here for a while, okay? Deli is, I knew I was excited anxious for a reason today. Whoa! Okay, so there's a new world, I think, and um, this is really pretty. I guess we start off with this girl singing and there's these little birdies like going around her. These are new and then one of them poop on her. <laughs> uh, I believe this is new hair and earrings and a very, very pretty dress and countryside, which to me, I personally just think of English farms, cottages. Um, that's just me. I'm sure everyone will interpret it differently. It's so pretty. And this little rabbit, I love that this rabbit is like taking us through the trailer. I'm a big animal lover and I just, I love that he's wearing his little sweater and it just, it definitely has like a magical element to it. Not saying this is a magic pack obviously, but it's, there's a story to tell and it reminds me of like watching Peter Rabbit and these little birds in the trees. I love it. And look at these shoes. So cute. Is she scared of the rabbit? Oh no, she's scared of the bird. She's like, I don't like these birds. <laughs> and it's called The Sims for Cottage Living. I find the name to be really interesting because I think farming, okay? Uh, definitely farming. So I'm curious to see why 
it's just cottage. I don't know, there might not be much there, but I just thought that was interesting. And it is an expansion pack. Yay, expansion pack means you get a lot more. And this is so cute, this little apron dress and the wedges and this outfit looks great as well. I know a lot of players have been asking for better men's hair and outfits. And I mean, to me, this looks really good. The little fairy lights in the trees, the ruins in the back, a little bit um, of a throwback to possibly get together looking a bit more like European ruins. Um, but still very different and it definitely has this sense of fantasy as well because there's little rabbits on here and like a like a big tree and the fox it's just it's so cute it looks like a fairy tale that's the word that i was looking for and look at all of these bunny rabbits so cute and these like what do you call these thatch roofs uh, that'll be in really interesting to see as a roofing tool i assume unless that's just like a background image um and this guy it's cute. My gosh, this is so nice. And I'm seeing like in the bottom corner here, a little sign for I think tomatoes. Folks swimming in the lake, which is very, very gorgeous. I remember seeing a couple of friends in England and the town they lived in actually looked so much like this. Um, so that was really cool. And the little mushrooms on the roof is cute. So it looks like these are going to be stores where you can get gardening things, judging by the seed packets um, and little maybe seedlings there. We have Mrs. Crumplebottom here. And this you might have noticed I got really excited about because this guy's like, hey, what's up? Also, just a quick check on some of the new hairs and outfits over here. I'm really liking the t-shirt, the wedges again, um, these little Mary Janes. Really, really cute. It's very pretty. So this guy's kind of hitting on, oh my gosh. Okay, that's that's me. That's not in the trailer, okay? It's not like a horror Sims game. I mean, Mrs. Crumplebottom looks absolutely fierce. I love her outfit. I love her little hat. And I could not be more excited to see her slapping that guy with her handbag because that's actually a throwback to, I think it was The Sims 1? She would, yeah, it was Sims 1 where she would hit your, hit your Sim with a handbag and it was so funny. And I feel like as the Sims games go on, they worry a little bit about maybe being a little bit too cheeky for this day and age. But at the fact they've included this, I'm like, yes, it's such a good throwback for um, some of us OG fans. It's, it's awesome. I love her outfit so much and the bunnies like running away too. Also great to see some terrain tool in the trailer because it looks like the terrain tool suits the area around it, which is something I've also been hoping for. Um, so that's really good to see. And this is when we first get to see the actual kind of farming life and cottage life. So, life. so you can see the cow, the llama, the little stable area, I guess you could call them, and also the area where the crops are. Also, I love across the top of the thatched roof, there's like a bunny jumping. So cute. I really, really, really like it. The chook house, yay! I'm so excited for that and we can get eggs. Whoa, hold on. Wait, is that a pond tool? That better be a pond tool. Oh my gosh, I think it is. Like surely it is, right? They're not gonna show it like that if it isn't. Like this is stop motion, right? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited! And there's ducks and swans. Oh wait, are they geese or swans? I think that's a swan. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty! I'm so excited to have so many animals in the game. Oh, and that arch as well. New terrain tool, I think. I'm gonna go to town with like landscaping. This looks like it'll suit. This is like totally my landscaping vibe. <gasps> Wildflowers everywhere. The little rabbit that the girl can hold and snuggle. Look at this hair, by the way. You know how a lot of uh, folks were saying we need better guy hairs? I mean, that looks like a pretty good guy hair to me. Oh, this is so cute. And I love the wreath at the door and these like bluebells and the jumpsuit's really cute and the overall dress and the little, the little backpack, the three quarter pants, the mushrooms. <gasps> Oh, I love everything in this. This guy's like, hey, maybe I should go grow some pumpkins. Is there gonna be a pumpkin carriage? 
See, these crops look different to me. So these look like, oh, imagine if it was magic beans. I wonder, is this gonna have a magical fantasy fairy tale element or is it all realistic? I think it's just got that little bit of a magical feel about it, but I don't think it'll literally be any thing to do with magic. But this is him watering his crops. Now, I'm wondering how this item will work, actually. Maybe this is like something you place and then you grow your crops within it. It just looks so different to the existing gardening that we have. I'm just confused with how it will work. Look at the mushrooms and this log here thing. I wonder if that's what the rabbits come out of or if that's just like a random piece of decor and the little lantern here. I love this little stump table. The fencing looks really great and the gate too. I just love this so much. Jeez, it must have been hard to get that rabbit into like every frame of this. This is awesome. So this is, is this a llama or an alpaca? It's a llama. It's a llama, cause Sims are llamas, right? I actually, fun fact, I have this dream of having like a, an alpaca. I don't know, I just really think it would be cool to have one. Two, actually I read, I did research them and apparently you need to have two cause they need to have like friends. This looks awesome. Cause it looks like you can like shear the alpaca. Oh no, it looks so sad. I mean, I would be scared to, I would do the same. Oh my gosh, is he actually biting her arm off? I guess you need to build up a relationship with your llama to be able to shear them. And maybe you're able to sell what you shear, like the wool, or maybe you can make clothes out of it. And then there's this, this chicken coop. It's got the rooster with the little top hat. I mean, that's this, these little top hats and jackets kind of make it feel a little bit more fairy tale like, um, but I like it. I think it's like escaping reality. And I've got to say these toddler clothes are really strong. I mean, this knit and this little backpack, corduroys, the hair, it looks really good. And this little, this little chip chip. So cute. And I love that the toddler's interacting with it as well. And what is this? So this must be fertilizer. No, this is probably to feed the chooks. Oh no, I think that is fertilizer. Um, and the rabbit's here again. And I wonder what this pail of water, like if you actually use it or if it's probably a decor item, but wow, these pumpkins look so good. And this, what is this called again? Oh, it's embroidery. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh -huh. So this is embroidery, which is really nice. I feel like the game's very wholesome, introducing knitting and embroidery, which I think was led a lot by community voting. So it's really nice to see them, you know, taking a little bit further again. I mean, that's just so wholesome. The fact a kid can do it. I love the wallpaper too. There's so many references to bunnies as well. You know, this would have been quite a good pack to launch in spring actually, or it would be really nice to play in spring in any case. Wow, this is so nice, this little embroidery basket. That really does look like what's at some people's houses with their crafts in it. Oh, and I love this, the woolen through in a basket. I wanna live in a cottage. I wanna, I wanna move. <laughs> I wanna live in a cottage now. Oh, and he's playing with the rabbit. Now this is really cool. So the fox and the rabbit. Wait, that's a storybook, isn't it? The fox and the rabbit. I don't know, I feel like there's, a, there's something to do with a nursery rhyme or something with this. But this is scary. And I love that the llama, you know, stands up for their buddy, the rabbit, and he spits. Ha! Huh. I love the fact that llamas like spit when they're, they're unhappy. Like it's such a sassy animal. And then he's laughing. That's so cute. I love the focus on animals. It's really funny because I wasn't that into the Sims pets in Sims 1, 2, or 3. Actually, I didn't even own the Sims pets in Sims 2 or 3. Um, at the time, I couldn't afford them, but they weren't like a focus for me. However, when it comes to farming, I'm like, I really want a farming pack. I don't know why, it's just interesting. So there's little bits of weeding here to do, dandelions. I really like this, this guy's hair and I love seeing the growth of the pumpkins too. I think that looks really, um, really good. I love pumpkins. They're such like a dramatic fruit. And the fruit, vegetable, and the eggs. Oh my God. This is such a cool like hen house. <gasps> and, then, and then the egg explodes into a little chook. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if you can eat the eggs or if they're just to breed little chickens. I don't know. And milking the cow. Okay, so that was a mod for milking cows that I tried out and you can get 
in the mud, I think you milk them, depending on what you feed them, they produce different milk that when you drink it will give your sim different moodlets. So I'm really interested to see um, if you feed the cows different things or if they just eat hay or exactly how it works. Cause I did see a rainbow cow, I think. I love that they're milking the cow. I've always wanted to milk a cow. And then this, I love this. I feel like, and then this, I love this, but I really do. I love that it's like a community or a family and you know, the kids breaking the eggs into the bowl, which may suggest that you can use the eggs and your produce for cooking, which would be great. I really hope that's the case. Um, and then it looks like the Sims making some bread. They may have even made some jam. Maybe you can grow berries. I don't know. It's just so wholesome. I think these jam jars might be homemade jam. I really hope they are and they're not just acre objects. That would be really great. There's milk here, so to suggest you can milk your cow. I love this hanging like air plant too. The sink's amazing. The kitchen's amazing. It looks so good. I really like to see that all of these cupboards match up really nicely because the Country kitchen kit, I think that was one of my feedback things was that they didn't really fit together. So it looks like that's kind of solved. The Fox stained glass window is beautiful. I love the stove. I just love everything about this. It's so cozy. Oh my gosh, look at the little egg holders. <laughs> and this is really cool too. So the picnic basket. I wonder, because if you go back to the kitchen scene, there is an open basket here on the bench. I wonder if this is just a decor item, like an open version of the basket, or if this basket kind of works like, you know how with the Sims, you can give them lunch packs to take to school. Maybe you can like make stuff for the basket and then take it to a picnic. Cause then it's closed here. So maybe it's a closed version. I don't know. Or maybe they're actually using it to eat from, which would be really nice. And there definitely looks like there's new meals here. Like this is some kind of pie they've made. Maybe from produce, that would make sense. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks gross. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? It looks like grubs. Maybe you can like harvest grubs from your garden. It's so cute. And the little bunny eating, so cute. And then we're back to the town square. So this looks really good. So we've got a well here that's kind of been overgrown, so maybe not in use. This was a garden stall. So maybe with this expansion pack, like there's a garden festival or something like that. This looks like a produce store maybe. So you might be able to do your groceries if you don't grow your things. Maybe you can sell them. That would be amazing. I think what I would really like to see is a way to really utilize everything you work hard to grow on your lot that you can sell it and make things from it. That would be really great. It's just so pretty and like the water thingy my bob of my jig. It's so cool. What's this? So this looks like a British pub to me. It's like the gnome pub. And they're eating new meals here as well. This is really cute too. Or maybe it's like a, maybe it's got a bit of a German vibe too actually. Like a beer house. Love this door knocker. I, that's it. I want to live in a cottage. I'm like, I'm gonna go live the farm life. And these are new hairs too. So this looks beautiful, beautiful outfit, beautiful hair here as well. Great outfit. I love this grandpa with his hat. That is such a great British like hat, love it, hunting hat. And look at these like tucked up trousers with the, I mean, these clothes look really good. And I love this hair as well. I'm kind of obsessed with this hair. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, it's really nice. So this is the pumpkin grocery store. Oh yeah, it looks like groceries for sure. And this looks like there's more groceries here. This girl looks like such a nice girl. Like I just want to be friends with her. Is that weird? Ooh, okay. What is this? Oh, so this looks like a, a festival, like a garden festival. So I'm thinking this is like when you go to shows and they have competitions like who baked the best pie and who has grown the biggest eggplant or oh, like pumpkin. I feel like you should be able to enter this contest with the produce you make or what you grow and then you might win cash or something. So then this looks like the judge. Her hat is everything. I really love the outfit too. I love this guy's jacket too. That's such a dad look. And she's like, hmm, now which ones? Oh my gosh, look at this outfit. 
That is really, really cute. And her little earrings and the curly hair. That looks really good, actually. I think that could be a new... Oh, actually, no, I don't think that is a new bracelet. Oh my gosh, look at this jumper. And why is she surprised? Here's a carrot! <laughs> I love the carrot guy. Oh, so she's really impressed by this giant pumpkin. She's like, wow, damn, he got a big pumpkin. I wonder if your pumpkins can grow to different sizes and maybe if you use enough fertilizer, you can get, you can yield a really big pumpkin. I love this little outfit, by the way. I love all of this. And he's won. I think he's won. Everyone's cheering. There's a gnome here with lots of sunflowers on its hat. Totally cute. And then we kind of do a full circle back to this uh, Sim who was singing at the beginning and she's got that beautiful orange dress on, which is quite iconic. And now she's singing to the birds, which she previously didn't like. So I don't know what that's about, but this, this guy is awesome. Um, and he's just not a fan of her. So that's a bit of a shame. And the bunny's like, I'm yeeting. Oh my gosh, she was like crawling along the ground. This is violent, but she's smiling. She's like, hee hee hee, I'm trying to save my life, but it's the best day of my life as well. And then this little rabbit looks like he might be going back to that tree. Maybe. Oh yeah, back to the hole. So, okay. Wow. And then to finish it up, we get a really nice view of potentially the new world. I assume the new world. So yeah, there's this like spiral kind of thing here. Mountains, fountains, ruins. Definitely seems, Euro well, it's for sure European. The little house up here. Like, I wonder if you can live up here on the hill. It's kind of, it's very vast looking. Maybe... The lots are further spread out. I don't know. I'm really excited to see. I'm really sorry that it keeps like pixelating itself. Look at the llama and its rainbow neck cozy and sunglasses. Like I don't, oh my gosh, look at this. Like, I don't know, maybe you can dress up your, your animals, which is pretty funny. I love this hair. That hair is so cool. And the little rabbits come in different colors. Feed your soul and your chickens. Oh, it looks like there's some ribbons. That's that have been one play with life. Okay, so this is a rainbow cow. I do wonder how you get a rainbow cow. We are definitely going to get a rainbow cow as soon as we can. And they probably produce some different kinds of milk. So I, I guess you might be able to breed them. I don't know. The animals look really good. Um, and then the rabbit pops up. It also says if you buy by September 2nd, you can get a gnome on the go bonus content. So you can get a bonus rideable scenic commuting bicycle, which is super duper, duper, duper cute with a basket on the front and the back. The onward adventurous gnome statue, which is, I mean, I love the gnomes. And Bramblewood's delightful tree. Delightful tree. <laughs> delightful. So it's all lit up. Um, and it's got a little door here. Cottage living. I already want to watch this again. Like I'm ready to sit down and watch this all over again. It's so cute. Oh, I love it so much. Mrs. Grumblebottom, I love her. So here's a little bit more information about it. It says delight in the quaint it says delight in the quaint charm of the Sims 4 Cottage Living Expansion Pack with animal friends, garden to table meals. Yay, so you can cook up what you garden and a close knit community. Oh, okay. So just looking at this PDF, it says you can delight in the quaint charm of cottage living expansion pack with animal friends, garden to table meals. So you'll definitely be able to eat what you produce from your garden and a close knit community. At home, cook with the family using the freshest ingredients. Yay! Explore the forest to befriend woodland creatures or forage for food. So maybe you can, for example, look for berries potentially. Um, maybe that's where you can meet rabbits or head down to meet the locals. Where the Sims are hugging a cow, making friends or enemies with their chickens or growing the biggest vegetables around. So that suggests that you can grow vegetables of different sizes. And I imagine you do that through taking better care of your vegetables, like fertilizing them, etc. The countryside is abundant with new experiences and ways to connect with the world around them. The cottage cow provides fresh and flavored milk for everyone while chickens lay eggs in the coop. Gather llama wool for crafts. Okay. 
But beware of mischievous foxes. The pesky critters love eggs. Uh oh. In the forest, keep an eye out for wildlife like rabbits and birds to earn their trust for occasional gifts and help in the garden. So it might be like the bees in seasons where if you get along with rabbits and birds, they might help you somehow. Although usually I feel like rabbits would eat your garden produce. Live off the land, make cooking and gardening fun for the whole family. New recipes, which we saw, and lots challenges. What? Require fresh ingredients for each meal. Lots challenges. What could that be? Oh, maybe that's like for when you compete with who has like the biggest pumpkin. Where the Sims grow their own produce, visit the village market or forage in the wild, fresh is always best. Up for a challenge, try growing oversized crops to enter into the competition at the Finchwick Fair. So cool. Embrace village life. Henford on Badgley is a cozy village where everyone knows everyone. So pack a picnic basket. You can pack your picnic basket and cross stitch hoop and head down to the Gnome's Arms pub to kick back with the locals after a long day. Earn unique gifts and learn about the town's lore from neighbors or participate in the Finchwick Fair to show off your most prized cow or chicken. So it looks like you can compete with the animals too. It appears it's going to be out on both PC and console on the 22nd of July. And you know, that's not that far away, but I feel like I'm gonna feel like that is forever waiting for it. At the same time, Dream Home Decorator, I've been really enjoying, so that'll at least get us to then. <laughs> I, I'm i so, so excited for this. I just feel like this is a pack I really, really, really wanted. I also know that I need to be careful not to be disappointed. Like I don't wanna make my expectations so high that it might not deliver. So I'm gonna like try and chill. But I really am so excited for this and I, I can't wait to, I cannot wait to find out more. I also think it was a really, really nice trailer as well. Oh, and also I did film a video reacting to Arnie, uh, Arnie's mod, The Sims 4 Farm Life mod, which is due to come out really soon. And I feel so bad about the timing of this with that mod because I know Arnie's been working on that for months and months and months and it would have taken so much time and planning. And it is just such an unfortunate coinky dink that they're coming out kind of at the same time. Although that does have a lot of unique things such as his semi-open world, it has horses as well, and I'm sure a very different way of going about things. So I'm also really curious to kind of see how a modder's farming pack versus EA's farming, farming pack is similar and different. Not in like a competitive way, but I think it'll just be interesting. I'm, like I said, so excited for this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this pack, if you're excited. And yeah, can't, re can't wait to read your comments and absolutely subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna be definitely keeping up to date with this and playing it and reviewing it. And I think we're gonna have a really good time together exploring it. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're on the world. I'll speak to you soon. Tag tag. <laughs>